Hi, I wanted to tell you about a trip that my family took. We went to um, a, a state park, which is located in uh, near like the Smoky Mountains. And it, it's a beautiful place. And we all decided to go there on our vacation one year. So there was probably about 10 of us that went. We stayed up in the mountains and we decided that one day we wanted to go um, into the state park and in the state park they had a place where you could go canoeing so when we we all decided that we were going to go up there and, and go canoeing now i love to go canoeing i love i just love it i've always done it since i was a kid and so it was really it brought back a lot of good memories for me well when we went up there like i said there was about 10 of us we stayed in cabins up in the mountains and then on a saturday morning it was an early saturday morning and the weather was beautiful we decided that we were all going to go down to the state park and go canoeing so when we got there they you know checked our ids and decided that you know we could all go canoeing i think it was like fifteen dollars a person which is kind of expensive but we figured what the heck we were on vacation why not well, at that time, I was just dating my husband. We weren't uh, married at the time. We were dating, and, uh, and so I didn't want to show him that I was a little bit of afraid of going uh, canoeing, so I you know, act like I was rough and tough. We all got our canoes, and each one of us, there was two in a canoe. and um, But I thought, you know, the water looked like it was kind of deep. Apparently, it had been raining there for the past week so we were lucky that the weather was pretty sunny so we got down there and paid our money to go canoeing and they asked if we wanted life jackets and I well I you know I didn't want I did want to but I didn't want them to think that I was afraid but I just made up some excuse and and went ahead and took the life jacket I said I was just going to throw it in the boat and not use it but truthfully I, I just felt like it would be safer for me to wear it so I just went ahead and put my life jacket on it's kind of a good thing that I did we all portaged our canoe which means we kind of carried them over our heads down to the water everybody put their canoes in and the water was freezing because it probably be the first beautiful day that they had in a long time the week before it rained the temperature was probably in the you know 50s or 60s which makes the water very cold and so we were uh, you know hoping that it would warm up and it did eventually that day it got the weather probably warmed up to about 70 75 which is still not extremely warm but it's still warm and warm enough to go and have a good time so we all rented five canoes two people in each canoe I was in the front and the guy that I was dating at the time well it was my husband my husband but he and I were just dating uh, he decided to sit in the back of the canoe because he was more experienced than I uh, which was fine by me he decided not to wear a life jacket and so I was fine with that I thought you know it's his life if he falls in and gets hurt or drowns or whatever I guess oh well for him um, that's not really how I felt but I, again it was his decision so we started going down the river and uh, the water was really smooth uh, it was fun people we were splashing each other and um, it wasn't it wasn't anything it was just great we were just having a good time relaxing um, as we got farther down I noticed that there was something in the water and so I, I was trying to you know look and see what was coming my way it, it almost looked like a tree limb had fallen down into the water so as we got closer and closer the thing started to move like in an s shape and i knew this was not a tree that this was a snake and i don't know if i have told had told you but i am petrified of snakes well i did not know you know what to do so the when i reacted i i reacted too quickly and i stood up in the canoe screaming snake snake and before you knew it, the canoe tipped over. Um, and I fell in, my, my boyfriend at that time, he fell in and the water was so deep. I bet you the water was about eight feet deep. Now, I had a life jacket on, so it didn't matter much. Although I freaked, um, I could not feel the bottom. I must have drank half of the water in the, in the uh, river. I started choking and when I came back up 
a life jacket only works if you relax. So I was freaking out and my head was starting to bob up and down because this snake was right there in the water with me. And you can know that I was scared to death. Well, as I tipped the canoe over, it kind of was laying on its side and I grabbed a hold of the canoe and I did not know where this guy was. I didn't see him anywhere behind me. Behind me. And all of my friends that were in their canoes were canoeing by and they were trying to push, put their oars out for me to grab onto it. I couldn't grab their canoes and they were kind of not being able to stop. So they were all passing us by. Nobody was helping. I was freaked out. I thought, this is it. This is how I'm going to die in this stupid water with this stupid snake and with this stupid guy who's not coming to help me. Well, as I was thinking I need to calm down I was starting to get myself calmed down and as I turned to look beside me up come my boyfriend freaked me out I started screaming I started batting batting at him slapping him and you know he's like wait 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 it's me it's me and I was like oh my gosh I thought you were something like a, a big snake or something like that He's like, no, just relax, just relax. And so he helped me grab a hold of the canoe and he was able to get the canoe back to the position it was supposed to be in. And then he gave me a boost up into the canoe. Got, I got in there, I felt so stupid because here I'd been telling this guy, you know, yeah, I know how to canoe. Um, but I didn't really care at that point because I want I kept trying to figure out where that snake was where that snake was well uh, Snakes are probably more afraid of us than we are of them. So it swam. It was long gone I bet that snake was 30 feet long. It looked like an anaconda um, It was so scary Well, he was an expert swimmer this guy knew what he was doing and he helped me get back into the canoe I got back in there he jumped, as he's trying to jump back into the canoe, he was pulling the canoe to the right, and I was leaning to the left so that he wouldn't make me well, tip the canoe again. Well, he finally got in. He's like, are you all right? And I said, yes. And at this point, I was crying because I was so embarrassed. I was so mad. I just wanted to get back to our cabins. But we had just started, and we had, a, it was a five-mile trip. So I canoed and I canoed. I cried, I was embarrassed. I, I did, I wanted to get out of the water, but I couldn't, and that water was deep, very deep. And then sure enough, like about three feet ahead of us, the water shallowed out. It was probably, you know, maybe even a foot deep where I could even walk in it. Um, but that whole time I was so paranoid looking for snakes and everything in the water. Then when we got to the very end, everybody was standing there waiting. Nobody seemed to have forgotten about it. Everybody had remembered about it and was laughing and carrying on and making fun of me. And I said, you know what? Don't ever ask me to go canoeing again. Um, that was it. That was the last of it. They all went the second and third day and I just stayed in the cabin. I felt so sorry for this guy because he had to go canoeing by himself and when he got in the canoe it was like it went straight up on the front end because he was all by himself but he, he knew what he was doing and he could canoe by himself. I just stayed back at the cabin and I said never again. Um, that was the scariest thing I think I'd ever been through because you know, well, all I could imagine was a snake coming and wrapping itself around my neck and killing me and choking me to death, and it was awful. So, I don't think I've canoed, mm, let me think, I don't think I've been back canoeing since that trip, and um, I don't think I'll ever go again either. That was my first and my last experience, and I said, no more, do not ask me. Well, the ironic thing is, is I end up marrying that guy. And uh, he jokingly said, you know, let's get married in a canoe. And I said, yeah, right, whatever. Well, we did get married by the water, um, but we certainly did not get married in a canoe or by a canoe or around a canoe.